Hey guys, Tony the Soy Size Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Glorious Cigar Review. So, <clears throat> today, um, I hope my volume is not too loud because uh, I've been told that my volume is not loud enough, so I jack it up again. So, we'll see if that's uh, loud enough or not. Today, we are smoking the um, Lamper Cigars Dumb Patron. Uh, cigar and it's a Toro size 6x52 and I don't have a lot of information on it I just know that it uses a two-year Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper three-year Ecuadorian binder and a three-year-old Dominican and five-year-old Peruvian pillow though oral filler MSRP is 15 bucks and that's all I know about it that's all I know about it so I guess this will have to be a double review so someone else can tell you more about it. So uh, Eric, uh, um, go ahead and release your review for this one. <laughs> okay, here we go. That's how this cigar looks like. Very like uh, plain, but yet gentleman-like. You see this like little dot here? Kind of showing, not really. That's kind of cool. But everything else, very plain. Plain, plain, very plain. It just smells like cedar humidor smell. Not much going on. I am pairing with some nice drink. So hopefully this will be a good experience. Let's cut and light. Ooh. Okay. Here we go. Very humidified cigar, holy shit. Draw is good. If not loose. Very minor draw. Um cold draw is um cedar. And damp wood. All right. Let's light this up. A lot of people say, you know, the lighters gets really hot. So it's, you know, torch lighter with a lot of jet is not good for lighting a cigar. Nobody's tell you how to go like this. You could be like that and still, you know, cause the further away you are, the, light, the, the less heat there is, right? You don't have to get that close, right? You, as soon as you see some fire, you can back up a little bit. Back it off a little bit. It's not going to burn the whole thing. So, you know, I just want to remind people, just because you more have more firepower, doesn't mean you have to use it all. You know, you have a, like a thousand horsepower car, doesn't mean you have to use a thousand horsepower every second of driving. Same thing with the lighter, right? I can light it really quick, or I can light it very slowly. You know, just saying. You don't have to use all the firepower Pull it away a little bit. Pull it away. Ooh, this lighter gets really hot when I'm talking. So. Smoke output, not too bad. Very woodsy, very cedary. A little bit of cream. Some sort of baking spice. Little bit of like powdery bitterness. Little bit of hay. 
And that's pretty much A. Pretty much A. Pretty much it. It tastes like um, very typical Connecticut. I guess I haven't got you the you know the Peruvian tobacco or whatnot, but right now nothing crazy. Nothing special. I guess we just had to come back. Mm, magical warp. Hey, Albert. Let's go. Alright, one third of the way through. I was smoking this while talking to Eric. Driving to nowhere. So, yeah. The ash is okay. I mean, the ash is holding, but... Mm, this cigar really doesn't have anything special. It's another one of those... I want to be different Connecticut, but I taste just like a Connecticut. Cedar creamy. Uh, and nothing else. A little bit bitterness. Too. There's a little bit of bitterness too, and just just nothing going on. I... Fifteen dollar, really? Like I don't even think anybody should release a Connecticut cigar of any sort for fifteen dollars, but apparently they do. So at least that's a good construction. It's burning. It's holding an ash, but this ash is dark. It's weird. It just tells me they're not using really good tobacco. No. <laughs> So, all right, I'll continue to smoke, continue to listen to Eric talking nonsense, and I'll be right back. All right, two thirds of the way. The draw actually got worse. It had a little bit more sweetness to it, but everything else is the same. Why is this just the cigar 15 bucks? I don't understand. I mean, based on the color of the ash, we're not looking at really nice fermented tobacco based on the flavor it's not a very good cigar it's boring i i i, I had i just i i i i i rather keep smoking this and keep listening to eric's long nonsense and 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 forget about this cigar but i got one more third to go let me smoke through that one third i'll show you the band I'll give you a final value of what I think this cigar is. And people who watch me the like quite a bit, it's probably gotta guess around the range I'm gonna go with. This be right back. Oh my god. This this is gonna be a quick review. Very quick. Okay, that was quick. This cigar absolutely sucks. <laughs> there, there, there's nothing changes. I feel like I'm smoking a budget budget Connecticut. Woodsy. Cedary, sweet, sometimes, not all the time, a little bit of cream. Uh, last third had a little bit of pepper. That's pretty much it. There's nothing to it. I don't know why it's $15. This thing should be six, $6. I was going to say six fifty. dollars I think about it. No, $6. $6 cigar. But here we go. Here's a band. It's kind of textured, kind of cool. I, You know, this really fooled me because I thought it was going to be a good cigar, thinking that, you know, they take the effort and whatever to kind of get a textured paper nope i should have listened to myself about this band because this band literally takes no effort whatsoever other than the dot i realized the dot was just on there the reason that uh it's kind of fainted it's hard to see is because they didn't press it hard enough so this is the true representation of how much effort they put on the cigar not a lot not a lot. So, yeah, six dollar for this cigar. Skip it. Just flat out skip it. Don't even bother with it. Buy some other better cigars. Really. So, yep. And that will be it for this cigar review. Like, subscribe, comment. Go ahead and comment if this cigar sucks. I'll take it. You know. So, yeah, that's it for this review. I will see you guys in the next one. I need to stop smoking some shitty cigar and smoke some good ones. Bye, guys.